Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Riverview. Riverview can be found over at PCSG and fans of the map Newbie Farm from Farm Sim 17 uh, will recognize the PDA right off the bat as this is basically the Newbie Farm of Farm Sim 19. This map is by Cavalier Roy and wow did this map um, surprise me it just seemed to pop up out of the blue over at PCSG uh, so let's go ahead and jump on in I'm gonna go ahead and just have the camera collision and our retriever and the map we'll pull up the log We do have a warning related to farm IDs. Let's scroll up and look at that. Not really sure what that warning is. I'm sure, it's a simple fix. Uh, but it says, warning farm IDs not set for all pixel in farmland info layer. But at any rate, uh, other than that little warning, uh, the map, the log is clear. We are starting this video on new farmer mode. So we start here at the uh, at the shop, just as we did with Cavalier Roy's other farm, other map, Maypole, which was just released just a few days ago, which is one reason why this map really caught me off guard when it popped up in PCSG. So let's just go around the front here and then we'll pull up the PDA and get to our business. We have our customize and sell trigger right here beside the farm of the, the shop. Let's take a look at the PDA. So, like I said, those of you who are fans or were fans of Newbie Farm uh, in 17 will recognize this PDA right off the bat. Uh, when I was looking at this map initially, uh, I looked at the PDA image and I was like, I know this from somewhere. Uh, but I couldn't pin it down until I started exploring the map, and then I was like, oh, I know exactly where this is. So let's take a look at the lands, to see what lands we own out the start. You see we own fields 9 and 10, as well as the green space up here above that. That is our basically our starting farm. We've got several other lands here. We've got, let's, let's just take a look at some pricing. Uh, field 12, or the area around Field 12, is $500,000. Field 17, $397,000. Field 30 is just under a million. Uh, but then we've got some more manageable areas here. We could buy the town's area. It's uh, several little plots around if we wanted to. And then if we want to get into some major forestry, we could buy the big old forested areas off here to the sides. Well, it's interesting. Field 31 actually is two separate sections. Or you could buy this area here, the southern area. It's field 11 off all by itself. All right, well, that gives you guys a little bit of an idea. The field 18 is pretty much off by itself also. A uh, little bit of an idea as far as how the lands are laid out on the map. Let's take a look. You have our standard crops on this map. Take a look at our starting equipment because we are on new farmer mode. So we start with the Fiat 13DT, uh, the Case 7210 Pro tractor so our starting fleet ranges in horsepower from 150 to 170 horsepower we've got the uh what's appearing to be the new standard starting harvester the new holland tx32 uh, with the grain header we've got the old style pickup truck and the stratoman trailer now this one's customizable for various capacities it appears that this one is set up for 8,000 liters we've got a small cultivator and cedar we do get the large grain silo at the start so we do have a capacity of 200,000 liters we get a water station 
get a little farmhouse and a farm shelter. And there is a lime station also in the starting area. And I don't, I don't know what I've bought, um, but I've started with $99,990. I'm not really sure what I purchased. Um, but at any rate, let's take a look. Let's take a look at our finances screen and see what maybe I have spent. Spent $10 on something. Fuel costs. Well, interesting enough, $9,990 appears to be our starting funds here on uh, New Farmer Mode because we start out already buying $10 worth of fuel. So, I'm going to uh, jump over to our... Zoom in here. Let's jump over to our farmhouse. And we'll just explore the, uh, the main farm area that we start owning, or we start by owning at the start of the uh, map with new farmer mode and then once we get that done we will uh, explore the whole place in um, farm manager mode so notably is around the main farm area are these large clearings now this one's got some trees peppered around it that we could easily cut up and get rid of uh, they aren't the the nicest trees to cut up but they are it, it is possible to clear them we've got a large clearing here I think in uh, newbie farm version 4 uh, for 17 this was a large cow pasture this would be a great spot to put down a large cow pasture let's let's actually just look and see oh I don't have no money there's a We'll look at that when we go into when we come in here for um, farm manager because we'll have the cash at that point. Uh, we've got our large silo over here. Here we've got the lime station I talked about and the water tower. Got our pickup or pickups hooked up to the trailer here. Uh, the trailer I would say is a little bit too uh, big for the trailer pickup. Here's the rest of our starting equipment under this particular uh, shed. And if we make our way up around this area, uh, again, we've got these fairly open flat areas. Uh, this was maybe the sheep area, or maybe it was just a uh, storage area in the old version of Newbie Farm. And then we've got another flat spot up here toward the top. I'm pretty sure the PDA as a whole came over from 17, uh, simply because we've got you know what appears to be a shed would have been placed here. PDA was made. All right, so that is basically uh, the gist with new farmer mode. Uh, the rest of the map is the same, you know, so no real reason to uh, to explore uh, the rest of the map under this mode when we're just going to jump in the map and uh, see how things differ at the start with farm manager mode. And there is the Doobie Farm sign. A little obscured by the trees, but there she is. Anybody needed any other hints that this was formerly the Newbie Farm? Now you know. All right, when we come back, we will be in farm manager mode. So we're back, farm manager mode. We are here at the shop, and let's take a look at the PDA. We'll see, once we go to the lands view, we don't own a thing now. We are pretty much land free. Uh, if we were to buy out fields nine and 10, that's 187,000. And if we were to buy this area here, is part of the starting area, 219,000. And then we got this little chunk up here, 153,000. So these are the three chunks of land you would need to get um, if you're going to start with how uh, the farm was set up in Farm Sim 17. Okay. And if we look at our garage, you'll see that we don't own anything. Uh, and we have 1.25 million 
And interesting enough, we don't have any fuel costs. <laughs> it's probably because we don't have anything to have eat. So, pick up our retriever here. We can drive around, see where things go. So here we got our uh, Mahindra. Spawn point here at the shop. Head and zoom out a little bit. And uh, we'll just slowly pan around a little bit and check out the the map from this perspective. Lots of trees. Lots of trees to earn some dollars. But you're going to have to buy the land. This is not like uh, Farm Sim 17 where you had free reign anymore. Now uh, you're going to need to buy the land. You're going to have to have a little bit of capital before you go and uh, start chopping up them trees. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. Where are we at? It's not too far of a drive, it looks like, to uh, to get back to the starting farm area. So let's let's attempt to get back to there, and uh, we'll explore there a little bit with basically without any uh, buildings or anything there. Just like with Maypole Farm, due to the uh, to this area being fairly tree lined, I'm gonna have to be in first person for a little bit of the drive uh, in order to be able to pretty much see where I'm going. Uh, these hedges do have collisions, so just note you're gonna be trying to bring uh, some big wide stuff through here, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna be challenged. Alright, we are we are here. This is where everything was um, in new farmer mode. So we said we were going to check out the placeables areas and just see how spacious they were. Big, big cow area. Of course, we don't own the land. Okay? If we own the land, um, we obviously would not have this red square. But you can see how big this whole area is. We put in on there, put in on there. I could probably put in, uh, I might be able to squeeze three in. Three of these large cow areas in here without too much problem. Especially if I got rid of these trees here. Look up here at this other area. Easily put the big cow area up here on this level, or you could move it and put it here on this level. Probably we might have to clear a few of these trees out, but that's the paddock is smaller, enclosure smaller, and the sheep enclosure is smaller. Yet. Yeah, I think the large cow pasture is the biggest. Yeah, that's is the biggest placeable. Um, in the uh, in the game, in the base game. Of course, our farmhouse area is vacant. There is the sign. All right. Let's see here, where do we want to go next? Uh, let's. So on, head on over to the, uh, let's head back to the shop, go up to the farm shop, and basically try to make our way around the map counterclockwise, ending at the sawmill. Uh, we'll see if we can't do a little bit of driving this way without uh, crashing into too many things, just to, uh, as I crash into an edge, uh, just to give a little higher perspective overall view of the map. So all the fields are lined with uh, with hedges. 
that do have collisions. Um, so there won't be a lot of field expansion and merging based on some comments of, uh, of some folks on a few of my videos. That seems to be a popular thing. Um, never something I was overly interested in doing, but it does seem to be a popular thing among some players is uh, basically re rearranging fields and uh, merging them in order to make larger ones. course we've got the shop over here and then we've got a kind of an island um, area with a town part of a town and a cell point you need to get to make our way around here Follow, we're going through town, town here. Let's jump in first person so that we can uh, see where we're going around these narrow lanes. There is a cell point up here. You're gonna have to. Uh, not going to be able to come through here with a huge, uh, huge trailer. It might be a bit of a struggle to, to get a big semi-trailer in here. Got a fuel point. And then we've got uh, one of the cell points here on the map. Right here. Of course, we need to loop back around. The uh, bridge. Lots of narrow winding roads through here. But uh, thoroughly explore at your own leisure. Let's see that uh, coming through here with a big long semi trailer like the Wilson is going to be. Probably an exercise in futility. Up again. Great yard coming up. Guess where the road is. <laughs> so, in version four of Newbie Farm, interesting factoid here: um, all the fields were were in grass, and uh, that was kind of a uh, Newbie Farm version four was kind of the the hardcore of the hardcore Newbie Farm maps. In that, every field was was painted in grass. Going to crop plant something else. Uh, you had to basically cultivate up the field and uh, get rid of the grass. Uh, on this version of Riverview, you can see that there are crops that are planted around. There are some grass fields, and then there are some regular crop fields. It's, there is the road right there that's leading up the uh, next cell point. at the next dump station. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, prices screen. See that we are currently at the freight yard. Okay, so the freight yard will take all of our standard crops as will the mill and port. Uh, the farm shop, which is where we just were uh, when we were going over that bridge, only takes potatoes and eggs on milk. So 
that's one saving grace is we're not going to have to roll in there to that little town across that bridge unless we are selling our potatoes, eggs, or milk. And speaking of eggs and milk, uh, four different sell points on the map take eggs, the bakery, farm shop, freight yard, which is where we are now, and the port. Uh, same with milk is the bakery, farm shop, freight yard, and port. See enough, the bakery only accepts our cereal crops, corn, potatoes, milk, and eggs. Uh, there is no BGA on the map. That is another interesting factoid. Wish to uh, wish to do silage? Well, you're gonna have to sell it at the barn, or basically just do silage for your own cattle. Of which you could have yourself a lot of cows. Remember, we uh, I think you could easily place five cow areas, cow pastures up there at the main main farm area before you really start scavenging a fairly flat field for a cow pasture. So uh, really, really go to town making this a, a, a cow cow focused um, map. Of course, we're not going to explore the woods up there, but you can see up here at the top. Um, and here's one of the access roads to get you up in there. Uh, there's roads that meander up and around that whole area up there. And of course, there are a ton of trees for you to be able to uh, take advantage of. I said earlier, there is plenty of money to be found here on um, Riverview. Wanted to call it Newbie Farm. Making our way down here to the southern part of the map. And this is the spinnery, I believe. Let's go ahead and check. This is indeed the spinnery. We're going to uh, come and sell all our wool and our cotton. I would say you can see that these fields are planted. You know, we've got grass over here. We've got this. It's oats or something. Yep, oats. But uh, it seems that uh, maybe, maybe in 19, we have different crops uh, that are spawning in when, uh, when you boot up a map. Because I remembered when I was exploring, oops, remember when I was exploring this uh, map earlier, uh, field nine is grass, but uh, when I was driving just past it on this boot up of the map, it wasn't grass anymore. It was something else. It might have been shear beets. When I drove by, I noticed that. So. I need to not uh, reference, oh, well, you got grass in this field, oats in that field, because it looks like you don't necessarily have that case 19, that you've got kind of a fixed crop every time you start up the map. So our animal dealer is right over here. Here is our, our animal trigger for pigs, sheep, Horses, cows, and well, chickens. Really wish you could buy chickens and haul them. Instead, you're basically forced of uh, you're forced to buy them at the chicken coop and pay an outrageous transportation fee uh, when you have no other option other than to transport them. Oh, let's turn around. We got to get to the bakery. Nice winding road here. Again, we've got the uh, access road up to that forested area. Of 
forested areas are very well done. Not the primary reason to be on the map, but they are definitely a a very good secondary reason, especially if you're doing a start from scratch. Just five hundred thousand dollars, because that is a true grind. Should be a second way in here. Here's the dump point at the bakery. And let's see here, where are we going? Well we're not gonna we're not gonna go all the way back up to the shop just to come back down. So we're just going to double back here and uh, get to the brewery. The one reason I like to use this little retriever uh, during these videos is it's got some pep to it. It's got some speed. I used a gator mod uh, in 17 and you know it kind of topped out at 30 miles an hour or so. Whereas uh, this one, a lot more pep to it. We can really get around quicker. thing is we need to be a bit careful with our uh, taking corners at high speeds because it will uh, spin out. Brewery is right up here on our left. Sneak on in here. Jump point. And now we're going to make our way over to the port. Port is up this way. See a little, a little bit of a flat area down here also. Clear out that... Uh, trees. Alright. Let's go in. I can't see a darn thing through that tree canopy. River. And through the woods, but we're not going to Grandma's house. We are going to yeah, port. the port. Kind of wish the port was a little bit higher res textures. Uh, this is really showing its age here with the uh, the concrete texture. Get out here to the port and you just feel like you're in a different game all of a sudden. Got our dump here for the port. And like I said, let's let's get out. You kind of see what, what I'm meaning here. Just feel like you're at... Uh, just feels weird. I feel I feel really short. One thing, and low res on the concrete. So that was pepped up a little bit. Some of the buildings you can kind of tell are uh, a little bit long in the tooth. Let's head back. Got a few more cell points to hit up, and uh, then we'll be done. You guys, let me know in the comments what you think of... Oh, shoot. <laughs> As I look over to the side to get the name of the map yet again, because I keep wanting to call it Doobie Farm. 
uh, let me know uh, in the comments what you think of Riverview and uh, let me know what you thought of River of uh, Newbie Farm back in Farm Sim 17. Did you ever play Newbie Farm? Um, I kind of I kind of regretted not getting around to playing Newbie Farm uh, in 17. So now I kind of have my ability to do that here in 19 with Riverview. Here we've got the barn. This is where we're going to come to sell our bales and our silage. Let's take a look and see what the uh, barn will accept. Barn will take silage, um, hay, straw, and grass. Not a super big fan of the square bale texture. It looks looks weird. And we've got a cell point here. And just for fun, we're going to kind of drive through a little bit of this uh, forested area. Just to give you guys a little bit of a sense of how we're gonna have to go, how these these roads are laid out, this whole area is set up. Bit of a bridge here, kind of a dry creek bed. There's the top of the port. Wind around down through here. Like I said, this is a... These forested areas are pretty cool. I explored these in a bit more detail. Uh, now we're right here along the edge. Be careful when you fall these trees. Uh, they may... Uh, they may land in such a way that you can't get them. All right, we're going to find our way out of here. Hopefully. Let's double back. And then we're going to go to the sawmill, which is the final area on our tour today. I promise you, I'm trying to get out of here. Bridge. Kind of a forge. Area. roads through here actually looks like we're coming in back the back way into the sawmill actually right there we've got a uh, stack of the sawmill yeah. sawmill is right over there Where it should loop around. This now we're doubling back. You guys got a bit more of a tour through the wooded area, or a wooded area, than I was expecting. 
So here we are at the sawmill. First we've got our cell point for our wood chips right there. And then we've got our log trigger over here. And of course with 19, you pull up with your load of logs, you come over here and you hit R to sell your wood. Let's show you how we would normally come into here and then we'll close out the video. You guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. Uh, let me know if there are any other maps out there you would like me to take a look at. Uh, do note that I am avoiding, for the most part, um, map edits of Bellsburn and Ravenport, uh, simply because they are a dime a dozen nowadays, and uh, most of them are not that extensive. Uh, edits are just, you know, slight changes here and there and such forth. Uh, so I'm kind of avoiding those, but if you know of edits that are fairly significant in how they are done, uh, they've, they've changed up a fair bit of the map, let me know in the comments. Uh, don't, please don't include links, uh, because if you happen to link to one of those uh, repost sites, and it's just a repost uh, by one of the uh, classic bots that post stuff, um, I won't be basically approving those comments because I don't want to uh, I don't want to reinforce going to those sites and download well going to certain sites is fine as long as the original person has uploaded there uh, but I just don't want to encourage uh, going and using links of folks or bots that have basically just re-uploaded things so if you do put a comment in with a link and it never shows up that's probably what happened and why it happened uh, so until next time guys Happy farming.